Photo of the Month, a street photography series by Brian Brock. The story behind the photo. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Photo of the Month, where I share the story behind the photo. This episode could have easily been called The Decisive Moment, or Timing is Everything, or I could have called this episode Lesson in Photography Composition, or maybe even something a little simpler like Storytelling, but I decided to call this episode Fill the Frame. For the sake of this video, when I talk about filling the frame, I'm specifically talking about more than one subject and potentially more than one story happening at the exact same time. Now, when I first started taking photos on the street, I was terrible at filling the frame. And to be honest, I'm not that much better now, but I finally have one photo that I feel confident enough to talk about. So let's take a look. Now, I don't know how it was for you, but street photography seemed pretty overwhelming for me in the beginning. So I'm not that surprised that I gravitated towards shooting one person at a time. Personally, I think it was a lot easier for me to slow down and single out just one thing that seemed interesting to me versus trying to capture multiple things happening all at once. But with that being said, I still wanted to learn how to fill the frame. So I started looking at more photo books and studying some incredible photographers like Alex Webb, Melissa O'Shaughnessy, Martin Parr, and Melanie Ensig. All of these photographers have mastered the art of filling the frame. So now that you have a better understanding of what filling the frame could look like, let's jump into the story behind my photo. Okay, so normally I don't shoot that much when I'm hosting my community photo walks, but I got lucky and managed to fill the frame with this street scene. Remember when I said this episode could have been called Timing is Everything or Lessons in Photography Composition? Well, here's a perfect example as to why. There's no way I could ever duplicate this photograph. The timing was so close to perfect as possible. And in terms of composition, it follows the rule of thirds to a T. Okay, so I shot this with my Leica M6 using the Voigtlander 35mm Ultron Type 2 Vintage Lens. My film stock was Kodak Tri-X 400, and you'll probably notice the image is slightly underexposed, and that's because I didn't have time to change my settings. I saw the moment and I took the shot, and in all honesty, I'd rather have an imperfect shot than miss the moment. Luckily, I was already using zone focus, so the image was at least somewhat sharp and in focus, even if the exposure was slightly off. Now, let's get to deconstructing this photo. First off, we've got the elephant in the room, right? This giant statue that looks out of place. Now, what's interesting about this is we have a little girl sitting in the trunk posing for a photo. This is incredible right here. If you look closely, it looks like what might be her mother right there holding a phone and taking that photo. But there's a lot going on in this frame. And if we look right here, we've got the baby that's got their arm reached out. It looks like all three of these people are connected. So. Right there, you've got multiple stories happening. Okay, so the next thing would be if we zoom into the background and we see this man sitting on the bench. His head's down, his hand's on his forehead, and it looks like he's on his phone. Now, who knows if he just got a really bad message from a loved one or if he's dealing with some stress from work. You can't really tell, but the body language is everything. Now, if we zoom back out and we look at the foreground, We've got this girl right here who just happens to pop her head up from her phone while I'm clicking the shutter. Something like this always adds some form of drama to any type of photo because the eyes are looking directly at you and there's no other person in the frame that's doing that. So it's a different story being told at the same time as all of these other ones. Now if we move to the left of the frame, we've got these two older women sitting on the bench, what looks like maybe having a conversation. And in between, there's a blacked out silhouette gentleman who's looking down. Now, right there in itself, there's another story going on. And then we zoom back out to see the full frame. We notice that there's actually one more person that's a part of this story. Now, this person in the background isn't quite as important as everyone else, but it does add another layer. And it shows that there's more going on in this photo than maybe first glance. So all in all, this photo is one of the first and maybe possibly best fill the frame photos that I've had to date. All right, so the coolest thing about this photo is that it means I'm becoming even more aware of my surroundings and I'm trusting my intuition when it comes to filling the frame. I still have a lot more work to do, but at least this is a step in the right direction. Okay, so that wraps up my fourth episode of Photo of the Month. 
I hope some of these stories are giving you insight to my creative process, my approach to street photography, but most importantly, I hope these stories show you that I'm learning as I go and I still have a lot to learn. As always, thanks for watching and I'll be back next month with another story behind the photo. Peace.